excited that I'm in my father's land and I want to get to experience more about it. It's been 20 years since I've been here, so I just want to get to know more about the culture and where I really come from. So my goal is obviously to win the crown for Miss Universe Nigeria, and I do have an impact that I want to share with everybody. After a 20-year absence, Chidima Adesino has returned to her father's homeland to compete in the Miss Universe Nigeria pageant. As usual, the pageant will showcase beauty, intelligence, and cultural pride with the hope of crowning one beauty queen who will receive 10 million naira and represent Nigeria at the upcoming Miss Universe competition in Mexico in November 2024. According to the national director of the Miss Universe Nigeria pageant, Guy Murray Bruce, the pageant empowers women to do greater things, and there is no lie in this after we watched Michelle Uanchukuni his way, repping the Nigerian culture at the 2023 Miss Universe pageant in El Salvador. Unfortunately, the elegant and confident beauty queen who had everything it takes didn't make it to the top 10 finalists. Of course, many people blamed her sponsors for poor publicity as many Nigerians weren't even aware of the representation and talked more about voting for her. This may explain why, this year, the pageant organizers are starting on the trend of controversy, perhaps for PR. First, the pageant sparked online controversy over the poor quality of the contestants' photos, which failed to do justice to their beauty. Many claimed that the poor photo quality was deliberate in getting people talking online, but this is nothing compared to the controversy surrounding the recently added contestant, Chidima Adeshino, a Miss Universe South Africa finalist who was forced to step down over controversies over citizenship and Nigerian ancestry. Indeed, tongues have been wagging that the melanin-popping model was invited to join the Miss Universe Nigeria pageant to give it more publicity. Of course, we all know what this means. The pageant has become highly competitive and fiercer. Regardless, after a week-long event that included business idea pitching, a fashion show, and a tea party, the grand finale ceremony will take place on August 31st, 2014 at the Eco Convention Center, Lagos, and Nigerians will witness the crowning of the contestant with the highest number of votes. But the question is, who among these beautiful ladies will wear the crown? Before you answer that, let's briefly meet the contestant. Have you seen our outfits? Very mindful, very cutesy, very demure. Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. Choma Muna Nkume. Chioma, 21, is from Abia State and is representing a state in the pageant. The model is passionate about human rights and believes that every human should be treated equally. She also aims to empower women to become the best versions of themselves. Chioma considers herself a woman filled with grace and elegance who aims to make a positive impact. She finds beauty in love, kindness and empathy towards those around her. I'm a strong advocate for human rights. I stand firmly by the fact that every human deserves to be treated equally. I am not afraid to stand out. I am not afraid to dream of the impossible. <laughs> Lucille Love Oputa Otutu Lucille is a 25-year-old actor and entrepreneur from Delta. In the pageant, the graduate will represent Abuja. Her interests lie in advocacy, empowerment, and social justice. Lucille already leads an initiative targeted at children but believes there is still much work to be done for underprivileged children and communities. Therefore, if she wins, the stunning model plans to use a crown to empower others. My journey in life as an entrepreneur, actor and volunteer has taught me the profound art of selfless giving and resilience where I consciously strive to leave an indelible mark of love and generosity. And as I re-enter this prestigious, esteemed platform, I bring with me the essence of my commitment to positive change and empowerment. Like I always say, there is no dreamer too small or any dream too big. If you can dream it, you can be it. Happiness and Netak This model represents Akwai Bomb State. Happiness is a broadcaster, model, altruist, host, and beautician. The model's interests lie in personal development and social impact because she believes in designing people's lives. 
Happiness vows that if she wins, she will work to improve people's lives through her self-founded Rise Female project. Paula Ezendu After competing for NTAACA Miss World Texas in 2022, Paula bagged a spot for Miss Universe Nigeria in 2023, representing Anambra. Sadly, she didn't win, but she is back this 2024, representing Anambra State yet again. The Nigerian-American-based beauty is interested in providing quality healthcare for everyone. The model is also hyped about resilience and believes it will earn her the crown this year. It has been quite a journey to get here and I am just so grateful for this opportunity to once again compete on this global stage with phenomenal contestants. The universe has a way of listening to a heart of a stubborn dreamer and I truly believe that it has brought me back to this moment for a specific reason. I've grown and involved in ways that I never thought was possible, and I am just so excited and ready to show the world the strength and resilience that relies within me. Fortune Kurubo. This 24-year-old podcaster is a native of Bielsa State and is representing a state in the competition. Fortune is passionate about improving the quality of life for women and girls, especially in the area of healthcare. If she wins, she plans to focus on a passion for improving healthcare for women and girls. I think one very important one for me is teaching men and girls, especially in Nigerian society, that domestic violence is no part of the ups and downs in a relationship or in marriage. And we should allow women in these kind of marriages to walk out without shame or scorn. And that's just one of my many other cases. Joy Omani Bay. When the girls' photos were released, Joy's photos packed conversations as she was compared to Nigerian cross-dressers. After watching her videos, it's clear that Joy is incredibly beautiful. Her natural beauty earned her the nickname Fanta. Joy is an air hostess, cosmetologist and aesthetician who will represent Benue State in the pageant. She is passionate about child welfare and rural development and strongly advocates education and health. My name is Joy Omanibe. I'm from Kogi State, Nigeria. I hold a degree in business administration. I'm a licensed cabin crew member and I work as a cosmetologist and institution. I am inspired by advocates like Chimamanda Adichie, Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, Julia Gillard, and so many others who have championed education and healthcare. Opportunity for All drives my mission to ensure children have access to quality healthcare and education. My father is my hero for not giving up on me. And now it is our time to stand up for children living in rural communities, allowing them to lead. Based on our research, she's among the top five likely to win. Emanuela Igbodo. Meet Emanuela, the striking representative of Cross River State. As a dedicated student and model, she is deeply passionate about humanitarian work. I am committed to making a difference and offering a unique perspective that goes beyond just beauty," she passionately expressed. If crowned the winner, Emanuela will fervently advocate for financial independence and the urgent eradication of human trafficking. Sarah Rese Olutu This UK-based medical doctor is representing Delta State in the pageant. Sarah dreams of representing Nigeria on the world stage while practicing medicine at West Middlesex University Hospital in the UK and training to become a psychiatrist. The ambitious model believes she will make a good ambassador for Nigeria. The Miss Universe is a platform that empowers women to exhibit all of their unique passions in their works of life that contribute to various sectors of our society. That's why I, Sarah Bresi Oloto, from Delta State, Nigeria, a medical doctor and an upcoming psychiatrist, aim to advocate for equitable health care. Oji Mother Theresa. This 26-year-old model from Anambra State will represent Ebony State. Because of her confidence, the model believes she has a strong chance of winning the crown. As her name implies, Mother Theresa plans to raise awareness of mental health if she wins. A 26-year-old native of Anambra State, participating and winning this pageant would be a transformative journey for me as it would push me well past my comfort zone, showing that I can overcome challenges and grow as an individual. A dear for Bitani Aikwele. Out of 24 contestants, this US-based model stands out as one of the most competitive. Representing Edo State, 
Brittany secured the Miss Diaspora Nigeria USA title in 2023 and this year she is aiming for the Miss Universe Nigeria crown. Brittany holds a bachelor's degree in sociology from Binghamton University in the US and currently works as a senior business development manager in real estate banking. The beauty has a strong focus on child health care and education and has pledged to continue advocating for these causes if she wins. Our research shows that she is among the top five most likely to win. Esther Gabriel This incredible woman began a journey in 2018 after being crowned Miss Tourism Africa. She achieved the first runner-up title at Miss Global 2021. When Esther is not working as a model for various brands, she loves traveling the world and she has visited over 10 countries outside of Africa. Representing Ekiti State for Miss Universe Nigeria 2024, Esther who works as a human resources professional, firmly believes in the principle of Ubuntu. This ancient African word embodies the concept of humanity to others. I just finished having my shoes and we're waiting to play a game. As you can see, we're all seated, 4-4. Four, four. Say hi to Mr. Pulida. And uh, Miss Cross River, she's in my team. And Miss Bad. So, yeah, we're waiting to see how and what this game is about. So, I'm going to keep you guys updated. Our research shows she's one of the top five contenders likely to win the title. Uchechi Uchena. This fierce beauty will represent Enugu State at Miss Universe Nigeria. Uchechi is a host, poet, and storyteller with a strong interest in mental health and education for underprivileged children. Through her initiative, Embracing Humanity Initiative, the model is already making a positive impact on lives. If she wins, she plans to personally advocate for mental health and education for underprivileged children. From a young age, I learned the importance of self-belief and perseverance. Growing up in a small village, I witnessed the impact of small acts of kindness. These experiences have shaped me into a person who values empathy and loves to make a difference in the lives of others. I am a spoken word poet, storyteller, writer, and an advocate for women and girls. In 2022, I founded Embracing Humanity Initiative to advocate for certain curses that call for urgent attention but not given enough. Curses like mental health, poverty alleviation, and education for underprivileged children. If given the honor of being the next Miss Universe Nigeria, I will dedicate myself to raising awareness for mental health for women and youths, inspiring inclusivity, bridging gaps, and encouraging others to pursue their dreams fearlessly. Uchechi is one of our top 10 likely to win. Quinette Ibukwe. This proud Imolite is representing her home state of Imo. Quinette is a fintech professional who wants to help women suffering from domestic violence to leave their relationships. Her vision is to provide financial and mental support to help women who are victims of domestic violence leave their relationships before it becomes fatal allowing them to regain their confidence. My name is Kunet Ibuku, representing Imo State. I'm super elated to be participating in this year's edition of the Miss Universe Nigeria pageantry. If I'm to describe myself in two words, it would be sacrificial and empathetic. Sophia Chika Nelson. Sophia Chika will represent Kaduna State. The admirable model is a licensed cabin crew member and a beauty entrepreneur. She is passionate about helping women gain employment through skill acquisition. My name is Sophia Chika Nelson. I am from Akwaibom State. I am a beauty expert and a certified cabin crew. Beauty goes beyond skin deep. I have gone beyond the superficial as a beauty expert to inspire young women to radiate their beauty from within by helping them gain vocational independence. Zuleyat Oyarazi. Zuleyat began a pageant journey by competing for the Miss Teen International Nigeria 2022-23 title. Congratulations, Miss Niger. This is our new Miss Teen International. She will be traveling all the way to India to represent her country, Nigeria. Encourage her, please. She's 19. She has been focused on expanding a portfolio. Looking ahead to 2024, 
The aspiring fashion model is now proudly representing Kogi State in the Miss Universe Nigeria pageant. Zuleyat is determined to clinch the Miss Universe Nigeria crown and realize her ambition of serving as a role model for the next generation. I would describe myself as a very strong woman and a resilient Whoa. person. I'm very happy and opportune and honored to be at the Miss Universe competition 2024. Watch out for the best. Ufa Dania. Meet Ufa Dania, who will be representing Kwara State. Ufa is a photographer, creative director, stylist, and filmmaker. As an art and fashion content creator, she has a strong interest in social impact. If she wins, she plans to use a platform to create a positive impact among young people. Ufa aims to champion important causes, empower others, and create a ripple effect of positive change beyond the pageant and into the community. They say beauty comes in one form, fair, slim, tall, a picture of what society deems perfect. But I stand before you today, a melanin-kissed woman of curves, a testament to the truth. Beauty is a symphony, a kaleidoscope of shapes, shades, and stories. My name is Gufa Dania. I'm a 24 years old from Edo State and I'm contesting to be Miss Universe Nigeria. I graduated as a first class student from the American University of Nigeria with a degree in communications and multimedia design. Favor John. This stunner with incredible eyes and perfect facial features will represent Lagos State. Favor, who already sees herself wearing the crown, has a vision for creating a positive social impact. As a professional content creator, the model wants to inspire people's minds, impact lives, and remind young people to believe in themselves and their abilities. Based on our research, she's among the top 10 to win, and if she doesn't, we advise her to join Nollywood. Ruth Kadri, thank us later. Priscilla Umehie According to Priscilla, contesting in the Miss Universe Nigeria pageant is about the goddess of beauty ascending her throne. Representing Niger State, the professional makeup artist has an interest in youth empowerment and inspiration. The beauty wants to inspire people, impact lives, and remind young people to believe in themselves and their abilities. And I am on a mission to represent our great state Niger at the Miss Universe Nigeria pageant. So far, the experience has been very interesting for me. From having first time experiences like being on a plane, to experiencing an entire city all by myself. And as much as I've enjoyed experiencing all these things, I also understand more about the pageant and the journey which is Miss Universe Nigeria. Debra Anosike. Debra represents Ogun State and holds a bachelor's and master's degree in architecture. As a professional product designer, she aims to focus on projects that enhance the quality of life and create a more inclusive future for all Nigerians. Specifically, she is passionate about empowering the youth, caring for older people, and advocating for employment and education. I'm a proud daughter of Abia State. At 23 years old, I'm an architect, a model, and an entrepreneur, holding both a BSc degree in architecture from Bell's University of Technology and a master's degree in architecture from Covenant University. My journey has been one of passion, perseverance, and purpose. From a young age, I have been driven by a deep desire to make my mark in this world, to challenge the status quo and push boundaries. Architecture and modeling has taught me to express myself creatively and confidently. But beyond my professional achievements, my greatest aspiration is to inspire young women to believe in themselves and pursue their dreams relentlessly. If she wins, Deborah intends to create a platform that increases children's access to schools and empowers women in Nigeria. Our research shows Deborah is among the top 10 contenders for the victory. Peace Ayigbidun. This stunner was selected as one of the top 15 contestants in the Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria 2022 pageant. In 2024, the now fashion designer is representing Ondo State. While working to create a better future for everyone, she aims to encourage women to pursue their big dreams. She believes she is a living proof that women can be strong, beautiful and resilient and run successful businesses. Peace is particularly interested in making a social impact and plans to achieve this by empowering women and girls through fashion training. Peace will make it to the top 10 finalists if you ask us. Ifunanya Inledo 
This beauty has extensive experience in the pageant world. According to her Instagram bio, she was crowned Miss Anambra in 2007 and also made it to the most beautiful girl in Nigeria top 15 in 2011. According to the model, she wants to represent Nigeria on the global stage. But first, she will represent Ocean State in this year's Miss Universe Nigeria. If she wins, she will use the crown to advocate for female reproductive health, a cause dear to her heart due to her sister who survived fibroid surgery. My name is Ifnaya Gloria Ledo. I'm from Imo State. I'm a graduate of Nandazuko University where I study psychology. I'm 36 years old. I'm grateful for the inclusiveness of this year's edition of Miss Universe for giving women the opportunity to showcase their gift irrespective of age, size and marital status. I want to also use this platform to promote kindness and love, confidence in oneself and also be a role model to girls who have been told no in the past. Elizabeth Salau this talented entertainer and reality TV star is representing Oyo State. If she wins, Elizabeth plans to advocate for mental health with a particular focus on campaigning against cyberbullying. The singer intends to use fitness and technology to create a society where mental health is a priority. Based on our research, this tall and unique beauty seems among the top 10 likely to win. Chioma Ogbona Representing Plateau State, Chama is a professional model, baker and entrepreneur. Despite her various roles, she has a strong interest in humanitarian services and is making a significant social impact through a non-profit foundation. If she wins the crown, Chama plans to make an even bigger impact and touch as many lives as possible through her foundation. Inyekachi Douglas Inyekachi Douglas achieved the title of Miss World Africa in 2019, following a victory as Miss Nigeria earlier that year. In 2020, she took part in the Forbes Woman African Leading Women's Summit. She also garnered attention for enthusiastic support for Tony Ann Singh, the Miss World 2019-2021 winner. With a remarkable portfolio, Douglas, a tall and stunning model, has accumulated significant experience over the years. This year, she is representing River State, an accomplished professional model and actor. Her goal is to restore the prestige that pageants once held in Nigeria. Is one of the top 10 contenders for victory. I want to change the unrealistic requirements based on beauty standards that are set for beauty queens, which creates a false perception of what it truly means to be a beauty queen in Nigeria. This will make their reign about their advocacies and not the beauty standards, correcting the misconceptions about being a beauty queen in Nigeria. Chidima Vanessa Adeshino. Finally, we have the 25th contestant for the 2024 Miss Universe Nigeria pageant. Representing Taraba State, Chidima is interested in inclusion, diversity, and social impact and plans to campaign for diversity if she wins. Despite being the last contestant to enter the pageant, Chidima, a 23-year-old netball player and law student at Versity College in Santon, South Africa, is widely considered the most popular and likely to win. She was brought into the pageant under controversial circumstances beyond her control. At the beginning of August 2024, the South African born and raised model was contesting for Miss Universe South Africa crown. At the height of her making it to the top 10 finalists, Mzansi massively rejected her, citing that being born in the Rainbow Nation does not make her a citizen or give her the right to represent them. This forced the divorced mother of one, who traces her ancestry back to Nigeria from her father's side and Mozambique on her mother's side, to step down on August 8, 2024. On her Instagram, Chichi cited her family's safety and well-being for her decision, especially since there are now allegations that her mother committed identity fraud years before she was born. Regardless, many Nigerians stood by the model and supported her. In like manner, Guy Murray Bruce invited the law students to contest in the Miss Universe Nigeria pageant, which she eventually accepted. Though most likely to win, the national director of the pageant said that Chidima would not receive preferential treatment and would participate in all activities like the other contestants, 
despite public sympathy and a large fan base. But somehow, Nigerians are equally not pleased. Netizens have called out the organizers for being biased, saying that entry was long closed. Yet, they found a way to insert the stunning model. In their opinion, the law students should have just contested it in 2025. Others, however, complained that Chidima had lived a whole life in South Africa, yet competing with young women who embody Nigeria's cultural heritage. One of the people who voiced their opinions is BB Ninja Season 7 winner, Fina, who made a case on Instagram. Just thinking out loud though, I'm in support of Chidimao, but this one she now wants to rep us like this. What will now happen to our own typical Nigerian queens that have been preparing for it too? <laughs> Omo, I for advise her to leave pageant first or for this year, then go next time, she wrote. While fighting xenophobic South Africans online, in a war that has affected Bolt and Uber drivers on both sides of Africa, some Nigerians have also questioned Chidima's tribe in Nigeria and, of course, if she is Nigerian enough. This didn't help when the model confirmed during an interview with News Live SA that she hadn't visited Nigeria in over 20 years. Some wondered why her first name is Igbo and her surname is Yoruba. However, clarity set in after Chidima explained that her father is Igbo but she was married to a Yoruba man, hence the different surname. Regardless, there is nothing Nigerians love more than being the underdog and they have promised to punish Chidima with votes to spite South Africans who rejected her. To win Miss Universe, you have to be popular because it's all about voting and she seems to have a following. She's likely to win Miss Universe Nigeria. An ex-user wrote, no need to contest, give her the crown immediately. South Africans must crumble, one added. Unsurprisingly, at the time of scripting, it looked like the model was poised to win the crown. The articulate, sharp, well-spoken and intelligent undergraduate had the highest number of votes with her strongest rival, a dear for Ahikwele, following behind. Her arrival in Nigeria and media runs have also made headlines and gathered more popularity and votes. As a woman who has obviously faced adversity, I want to use my story to bring people together. I want us to value diversity and celebrate our differences. By that way, we can build a stronger community that benefits everybody. With the numbers looking good for Chidima, South Africans have begun to claim her as their own, even supporting her on various platforms. But if she wins, Chidima will have made a statement representing the country that loves her back. But then again, there is a saying, never say never, right? Tell us guys, who among these beautiful ladies do you think will be wearing the crown? Do you agree that Chidima Adeshino is the most popular contestant and is likely to win? Were the pageant organizers biased for including Chidima Adeshino? Finally, does Chidima have what it takes to represent Nigeria on the world stage and win if she's crowned Miss Universe Nigeria? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, like, hey, 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 I'm not hey. gonna take it easy on my haters. Yeah, that's my favorite song as well. Um, Davido Ogechi because of the Ochi Chi Ochi Chi part because of my name. And um, Burner Boy as well. Hiya, Whiskey, Essence. I can I can go on and on and on. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's leak. Oh my god. Okay, amazing, amazing. So what's like your favorite song right now? Like Afrobeat related. Is it the hey 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 hey? That one for oh, now, but I'm not gonna lie, it has to be Ogechi with oh, the video okay. and the remix. Yes. 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 The, oh, it, it, that's number one. So share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, Please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.